Let's go to paradise. And let's go on foot. Such a feeling invades your soul when you are standing here, on the never-ending dunes, by the boundless waters, under the deep blue sky. You can feel the silence everywhere. The miraculous combination of sand and sea colours, which you have never seen before, lets you escape from the daily life and gives you spiritual fulfilment for the rest of your life. Here, even the light is different. Once you have been here, you will surely come again. Thomas Mann, Sigmund Freud and John Paul Sartre have been here and admired the beauty of the Coronian Spit and said that it was unforgettable. You should experience this beauty yourself. The journey to the Coronian Spit feels like the journey into oneself. It's like listening to your soul and meditating on the beauty of God's creation. Here, nature resembles a fine symphony with the sun, the sand and the wind constantly creating a new harmony and with the dunes shifting each hour or maybe even every second. Here it is just not appropriate to rush or to speak too loudly. It's like being in church. These dunes, which rise to a height of more than 50 meters, are some of the highest in Europe. Some of them are alive, but others are dead. But here the word dead is not frightening. On the contrary, it symbolizes tranquility and peace. The sand has stopped forever. It does not shift and it does not bury the villages nearby like it did in ages gone. In the Coronian spit, man has found a way to control nature by planting trees and in this way subduing the madness of the sand and has brought peace into the villages. But at the same time, it has spelled doom for the dunes. They have become lower and lower as time passes. There is a legend about how the Coronian Spit was created. It is said that a giant called Neringa, who wished to protect her lover Naglas from the storm, poured a ribbon of sand into the sea to make a peninsula which then provided shelter for Naglas. This is how the spit connecting Klaipeda and Koningsberg and separating the Baltic Sea and the Coronian Lagoon came to be. From the air, the Coronian spit looks mysterious. It either resembles the kingdom of glistening sand or green forests, and in places it is nearly touched by both the waters of the sea and the lagoon. If we were to start our journey at the very tip of the Coronian Spit near Klaipeda, it would take us to the famous Maritime Museum and Dolphinarium which is located in the remains of a Swedish fort built in the Middle Ages. If you want to go south towards Nida, you can either go by the road or you can go by the ship called Mecklenburg. Both of these are excellent choices. However, if you really do have time, you can choose to go by bike or to walk. Fifty years ago, the region of Neringa 
was founded, but it was given a special title of city and given the status and rights which go with it. In this very special area, surrounded by forests, Jodkranta, Herwalka, Frele, and Nida, four little towns are located some distance from each other, but together they form the city of Nerim. The whole region of Neringa is recognized as a national park on the Coronian Spit and as such its sensitive nature is closely protected. The establishment of nature reserves that Nugaras, Jodkranta, Karvaichi and Parnidis as well as the existing reserves at Naglas and Grobstis means that public activity is extremely limited in this area. These very strict rules apply to visitors as well, but the rules also provide many benefits. Throughout the year, about 800,000 tourists visit the Coronian Spit and everyone must respect this area as they would respect a work of art. The Coronian Spit is a world treasure and in the year 2000 it was listed by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site. Already in Teutonic times, the Coronian Spit served as a post road, with coaches travelling from Riga, Konigsberg, Danzig and Berlin. If only the road could speak it would tell us. There were great numbers of surprises on the road, and the coachman had to drive with one wheel in the water, sinking into the sand when the storm raged or the sun burned down. Denis Diderot, a French historian, wrote that during the storm on the Coronian Spit, if you choose this road, you'll be sure that your soul will be pulled into its depths. And even the great Queen Louisa of Prussia, together with her family, they took this road and experienced all its difficulties when they were running away from Napoleon's army. <laughs> 